happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I wanted to break down what I'm doing with MSOS, the broader market for cannabis stocks, going into potentially what could happen this week or by law, what should happen on Monday, the 27th of November. I've been following along on this. I've been putting out content as consistently as I can, trying to get some stuff out there about once a week or so. I'm loaded up for this week and for about two or three weeks out as to potentially what could happen with the DEA's response to HHS. I don't expect a huge fireworks show. I expect this to be a ginormous yawn. But then things change long term, slowly. Let's jump in. Here we're looking at MSOS ETF, which MSOS stock is uh, an ETF for cannabis stocks. And it combines, I don't know, about 22 different stocks, various types of stocks within the industry. Uh, it's the biggest. There are others out there. I don't even bother. Um, short players, short sellers are really what are in charge right now. They got cleaned out on the initial news. Apparently, they didn't get the newsletter that there was going to be news. Uh, got cleaned out. And then, of course, they took charge again, pushed everything down. I've been trying to follow along with open interest on options, short interest on OTC stocks and how these guys are pushing, or one guy, is pushing OTC stocks downward. They're buying MSOS, uh, e the ETF options puts, taking their profits. Then they have to get back out, which it looks like they just got back out. I've been trying to follow along and sort of strategize as to what they're up to. My game, more of a long-term game, but I'll play their game because I don't mind profits whatsoever. From here, we're trading right around six, six and a half. Um, and I have a couple layers of options, call options for this week and two and three weeks out. Uh, I have several layers. I've just been, all right, fine, I'll buy that. All right, fine, I'll buy that. Expectations are that we get some kind of announcement between now and November 27th, which is Monday. Interesting statistic on that uh, particular day. It is the highest phone call volume day of the year. Everybody takes Thanksgiving is not it's a four could be a four day weekend. A lot of people take the entire week off. And it's non holiday, so everybody does this. So then come Monday morning, people get back to work. Potentially, the DEA will get back to work. Potentially, we'll see how that plays out. An announcement could happen right now while I'm making this video. That would be nice. Um, in the meantime, if you don't know this announcement's coming, okay, but where are you positioned like I can't I, I don't see the short sellers getting scared and pushed out and this is one of the things like they must know that this is coming they pushed the market down because they could because no one was lining up to buy then they got back out pushed the market back upward again now we're sitting just shy of where they were uh, when they torpedoed this back downward so when you kind of sort that through like What's the surprise? There is no real surprise. Therefore, how high could this possibly go? I have very low expectations myself. You know, some of these options I paid three, four, five cents for. If I hit 15 to 25 cents, I might actually consider that a huge victory. Take that money, run. But then maybe I'll probably buy puts again because these short sellers, they're unrelenting. And they may just push things right back down. Where do we go beyond that, though? And if you look continually at the bigger picture, green thumb, 22, 23, 24, 25% of MSOS, profitable. What happens after the DEA nods yes and Biden does his executive signature? That's the process. There's three things. HHS makes its scientific recommendation. Biden sat him down and said, do this. DEA says, yep, we're on board with that. No problems at all. And then finally, the executive does an executive order. This is all within the law. 
and it is 90 days and I have put out videos and I keep getting individuals. Well, what about this one thing? It's 90 days, November 27th, Monday, plus or minus one day. Um, beyond that, what happens? Green thumb, they're profitable. They then are able to write down, write off costs, normal business costs that they couldn't before because 280E is no longer a factor. So going forward with January 1st, you've got the opportunity that a company that is 25% of MSOS is now slightly more profitable, unexpectedly. And, and this is probably the bigger part, anybody who was prevented from getting involved in these stocks because federally they were illegal, that prevention is no longer there. So the customer base expands. Then, once MSO or uh, GTBIF stock uplists to NASDAQ, you've got the entire stock market and everybody involved. So there's still a process involved, but a massive jump of this is probably going to be finished up here before the end of the year. I can't expect Biden to wait until June of next year to go ahead and make a signature. He'll probably do it before the end of this year, in the next 30 days. Just a quick pen signature, done. But for all intents and purposes, as of Monday, assuming the DEA does what they do, it's done. It's just a matter of Biden who dictated to them, we're making a policy change. Shift. Do this. Do that. It's just a matter of him signing. Um, so I look at this as a long-term sort of process that the short sellers are probably going to come in and slaughter because no one's really lining up, despite the fact that everything changes. I don't expect anybody to be caught shorthanded and all of a sudden MSOS and all the OTC stocks, of course, shooting higher. Another event that I do think could really light up the board a lot would be, and this will be unexpected, and not sure when the Florida State Supreme Court, who during uh, questioning of the Attorney General in the state of Florida, the, the court itself grilled her pretty sharply, saying, basically saying, you're saying this is confusing. Tell me exactly which part is confusing because I'm not confused at all. And because of that, although she tried to shoot it down, the Florida State Supreme Court looks like they're going to allow on the ballot measure, based on what they, they're questioning, grilling of her, will it would allow this to go on the, uh, that, that ballot to go on the ballot box. And from there, Florida is likely to flip to adult use. And from there, True Leaf, AYR, Verano, and a whole slew of others, forget about it. That's probably the bigger event, but if you contain this all within what's going on right now, over the course of 2024, things are going to light up pretty big. We'll see if Florida actually does flip, if they actually get that on the ballot measure and Floridians go ahead and vote for that, but that one is looking a lot more possible plausible simply because of the rhetoric of what came out of uh, the Supreme Court grilling the Attorney General. They were just basically like, we don't see what you see. Let's see if it rides. So going into the next two weeks, next week, specifically Monday, I don't expect a big fireworks show. But I see the process of everything lining up that over the course of 2024, incrementally, you'll see these stocks individually get supported more and more. You'll get news announcements. We're uplisting. Oh, we're uplisting. We're uplisting. We're doing this. Oh, Florida's doing this. Very likely, we have seen a, a logical bottom. And from here, more profits we're continually seeing bigger revenue gains from these companies. 
uh, although I did see a couple misses, but I saw a bunch of big hits for revenue for this quarter, and I'm going to try and get some information out on those. Nonetheless, these stocks, these companies are turning that corner, and the legality aspects of it are also turning the corner. I don't expect a big fireworks show on Monday, but I could see progressively higher and higher moves over the course of the entire 2024. I don't think things are going to get out of control, but they may, because there may be a big rush in once people are like, well, this is happening, this is happening, or it already happened. So the fact that we're front running this may be the non-event, but that once pe more people are allowed in, that's when things change. I'm going to continue to update everybody on this. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. We'll see you after the holiday. See you in the next video.